Hello everyone, this is uh, my, I decided to make uh, a tutorial about uh, instrument rate check ride. So I, I'm going to show you the way I passed the test and I would like to, uh, perhaps this video would help you. So um, I'm going to explain uh, step by step and I will pause the game as soon as I need to make a change and I will explain for you. Alright, so let's uh, press the, the, the pause and uh, let's continue flight and I will explain the way I passed the test. I'm your examiner for today's instrument rating check ride. In this check ride, I won't ask you to do anything illegal or dangerous. I will expect you to fly in a professional manner. I'll expect you to tune your own radios, maintain all altitudes and other assignments I might give you. You will not be able to use the autopilot during this flight. Feel free to use the pause button if you need more time to set up the radios or get prepared for the flight. When you're ready, just resume the flight. Since this is a simulator, we're starting in the air at 5,000 feet. I want you to tune the NAV1 radio to the Seattle VOR 116.8. Okay, so uh, now uh, you pause the, the, the simulator and change your NAV radio to 16, as she told you, 16.8. Okay, and uh, change your OBS to a four, uh, 3, 4, 0 degrees. Okay, change your OBS, the first one, the OBS, 3, 4, 0 degrees. There you go. So um, in this video, um, you won't see me use the the mouse and the arrow because I have some stuffs here. I don't need a lot, but um, you will see me make a change, and I will tell you. So right now we change the first, uh, the VOR, the OBS, the first one, uh, to three four zero degrees. So um, let's hit pause again and see what happens. Okay, so I pause again and I want to explain something for you. As soon as she disable the autopilot and then she will change your OBS as well because she's already changed the heading to 338 degrees and uh, it will change your OBS to 338 degrees as well. So go back to your, your OBS and put it back to 340 degrees. Okay, so now you can you can turn on your autopilot and uh, altitude okay as you can see it but do not hit the heading bug because she's already turned the heading bug to 338 degrees so we need fly a little bit more uh, to the heading the 066 six degrees 066 065 so I will tell you when we're gonna make the turn because I'm based myself to the needle to make a turn and I will tell you exactly when we're going to make a turn so read the pause and let's roll okay so when the needle move to the to the left as you can see to the center uh, there is a point here then I will make a turn then I'll hit the heading bug to make a turn so not now not now not now yes okay so hit the heading bug and uh, we start to bank to the left don't worry about it let's move to the center okay let's roll check your air speed um, do not go over below to the 100 uh, one, uh, 110 knots and don't go below 90 knots okay so um, yeah we fly straight for now the, the needle move a little bit to the left li little bit because uh, sooner or later uh, it move to the right so just let it be for a while we 
we've got 100 knots and uh, Enedo is moving to with the, our our objective here is uh, put it all three needles to the center even ADF and the uh, heading bug to uh, the VOR2 indicator is putting all in the same the same position we're gonna do that soon this is your DME you already know how does it mean DME so we're gonna use DME to base in your our descent okay so when we reach in a 17 nanocom miles we're gonna pause again and we doing an uh, f our first descent so um the the needle the OBS one the needle move to the center I'll let a little bit more and uh, I'm gonna change my heading soon alright so and the uh, 18.5 I'm gonna change my head into 340 degrees there we go 340 degrees my heading has changed for 340 degrees I'm still on the rules it, it won't compromise my fly uh, don't worry about it as you can see the three needles move to the center and uh, we'll keep that way so I watch the DME we are 17.9 in a 70.0 I will pause again but right now when I start to descend I will make uh, two things here so uh, okay 17.3 17.2 17.0 there you go a pause I'm gonna drop I'm gonna uh, turn the altitude to 3,000 feet as you can see on a uh, on autopilot 3,000 feet there you go I'm gonna go back to a heading I'm gonna turn the heading to 342 and uh, I will uh, hit the pause and push back the throttle uh, remember that the air speed cannot be below 90 knots 90 knots so just keep in your mind you will fail if you pass the uh, you will let the air speed below 90 knots so don't do that so we start to descend the needle is still on the center uh, the secret of the the OBS is you keep the needle on the center. Everybody knows you already know that. Just when you you do that, don't make so hardly. Just try to to jump to a two by two like the if you are in three four two, move to three three four three or three four four one. Don't go straight to for example you are two three four two and then you three. Uh, 339 it will make you fail so don't do that so we keep flight straight I'm gonna push forward my HUD because I don't want to compromise my flight so we are good uh, the DME show us we are 15 nanocom miles 40 precise 14.8 nanocom miles so I'm gonna keep that way uh, 4,000 feet. The airspeed looking good. It's about 940, 9.5 something. It's really great.
we are 12.9 nanocomals to the next weight point uh, milt so um, we are good three three thousand a hundred feet almost there airspeed drop watch it push drop forward regain the the airspeed we almost three thousand feet there we go looking good uh, and uh, 1.11.8, uh, 11 11.7, we reached our first weight point. Okay, so the airspeed looking good. Uh, the altimeter looking good. Everything is okay. So this is the easy part of the, the tutorial. That's the really easy part it's not much to do and uh, just keep fly the next descent is going to be 9 nanocomals I will pause again Okay, so 9.9 .9 nanocomals, so be ready because it's going to make another descent. Watch the needle, the VOR needle, the first one. I'm still in a heady 342. I assume that you are as well. nine point one so nine point zero there okay so now we're gonna change again we're gonna descend to one thousand six hundred feet I changed the, the the autopilot you already can see it one thousand six hundred feet so hit the pause again push back the throttle we start to descend again watch the needles the VOR the OBS 1 OBS 2 keep watching the vertical speed and uh, um, the air speed as well basically when you make a descent watch watch always watch air speed uh, f a few few days ago I was failure my test because I dropped too much air speed So 2,500. The ADF has center. It's all looking good. The speed is still the same. It's looking good too. <coughs> One hundred uh, one thousand eight hundred feet, one thousand seven hundred feet, almost there. One thousand six hundred, push throttle forward, regain speed, and watch the needle. The 
perfect how looking good so look again our DME I'm gonna make the last descent for now and uh, on a 3.0 nonocom mouse is gonna be our last for now to reach the um, VOR okay from the the Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha okay so we're looking good the airspeed okay 3.9 watch the OBS 3 po the DME 3.9 3.8 3.5, 3 3.4, 3.3, 3 3.0, there. So we're going to change our altitude again. 900 feet as a limit. Do not go below. If you go below, you will fail. Okay? So. 900 feet as you can see it so I'm gonna hit the pause again push back throttle so we need to still the same and uh, we want to reach our VOR from the Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha Almost at one one thousand feet. One thousand feet. There, push throttle forward. Our needle it seems to change to the left and uh I'm going to leave like this for a while. We still looking good. Everything is fine. Great. We crossed the VOR.